What interesting trends are you noticing in the S&P market right now? Well, a few actually. Um, first of all, the avalanche of bank deals that we all expected never really occurred. Um, second, we have the good old, old school, disciplined, traditional owner back on the court with the simple philosophy of buying when it's cheap. Thirdly, we have unconventional buyers now. I mean, private equity houses, um, asset funds, even real estate investors coming to us and saying shipping now looks very interesting. So this leads to, well, lately we've actually seen an increasing asset prices, surprisingly so, because the charter market is still very much depressed. Um, some of these takers that come to the market now, they even expect the char charter market to continue in a bad mood for a few years. Um, but they expect the stars to align at some point where we will see, um, well, as a result of continuous depressed uh, charter market, we'll see even more scrapping, less ordering, and even some, um, even some discrimination from the oil majors that might say, okay, only modern vessels for period business, please. Has there ever been a better time to invest in shipping? Well, I'd say yes and no. Um, yes, because in 2006, 7, 8, um, you could basically get payback on your equity in a voyage or two. You'd get 90% finance, you'd put in 10% yourself, you'd spot a couple of voyages and you'd be recouping your, your, your equity. Um, but no, there's never been cheaper to order new buildings if you look purely at the asset side. Um, yards are still building below cost, supported by government or mother companies. Um, and this in combination with the latest quantum leap on, on technology developments uh, just makes it very, very attractive to look, look for the future, uh, look at the current updated designs and, and follow the arts closely on what they're doing.